What's up, my boy? From that city with juice, ain't no pity or troops. It's when we dip in gun smoke's conclusive. Don't act clueless, hella foolish in the 90s. And GP shotgun when we ride. Solid on the yard, name hard on these streets. Did my crimes, gangster rhymes on dope beats. Still fuck laws, ain't no pause in our demeanor. Rest in peace, Muggsy and my road dog creeper. Ways to put it down, no fear of new cases. Years ago, though, it was guns and chases. 714 on my shoulders, kept it active. Roll like soldiers, G code ain't passive. Still Mac and Ratchet, still packed at the waist. Still stacking racks, still flash when they hate. Now it's podcasts and videos with pretty hoes. Me and George banging orange till the city's known. Really though. OG1. We keep it moving smooth like every day. In this industry, we do we on these streets for sure. Streets for sure. We make that green, don't you go, go, go. We make it move all day, all day, all day, all day. Grew up in the streets of the LB. We don't love these hoes, what they tell me. Packed up and moved to the OC. Me and George born in life, Shaq and Kobe. Fuck bitches get money, living wealthy. Bad bitches screaming, let me get a selfie. Big stop, she be some real G. Side dick is the general of an army. Egg she podcasting in the morning. Don't say F A is your warning. That other bullshit be boring. With some goofy ass question, that's corny. Tommy, let me finish my story. Shooting shots, game six, rubber ore. Smoking blunts in the bus while I'm touring. Now welcome to George Perez Stories. OG Way. We keep it moving smooth like every day. Every day. They could not look that homie, we don't go. We don't go. It's going down for sure, for sure. Real G's in this industry. What's up, my boy? George Perez right here of George Perez Stories, episode 324. George Perez Stories is brought to you by JB and Sons Tree Service Landscape and Installation. Look, guys, if your lawn looks like Pet Cemetery, the crows don't even go over there. If it's scary, hit up my boys at JB's Tree Service Landscape and Installation. If you got gophers that got tattoos, grasshoppers that are <laughs> fighting the butterflies, hit up my boys at JB's and Sons Tree Service Landscape and Installation. They masterize in irrigation, tree removal, stump removal, landscaping, anything that does with the lawn, front and back. Hit up my boys at JB and Sons Tree Service Landscape on Installation on Instagram or at J-M-B-A-R-R-I-O-S-12. Also... Two new shows have been added to the tour, guys. August 19th, I will be at the Ice House. That's on a Saturday, 10 o'clock show. I'm giving you guys a month and a half advance. It's going to sell out. It only holds 150 people. So check it out. September 1st and September 2nd, I will be at the Vulcan. Excuse me. In Austin. I'm going to be there with Willie Barcena. So go ahead and grab your tickets and boom, that's that. Yo. Next guest in the house, guys, is the homie right here. I've known him for a long time, all the way from Compton. Yeah. Give it up for my boy, Jamar Neighbors, in the building. What up? What up, G? What's up, doggy dog? Shit, man, I can't call it. It's chilling. You know, you live uh, You live in, in um, this is where the rich Mexicans retire, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey, this is where the rich Mexicans retire, bro. This shit crazy. Yeah, no, like no one on this block is allowed to have a lawnmower. Like, no. hey, no, nah, don't. <laughs> that shit too loud. <laughs> it's like, well, hey, it's not our turn no more. <laughs> Noise ordinance, bro. But I knew it was a Mexican neighborhood because I saw like a gang of trucks and shit. Like, <laughs> like it was, but it was all parked at the corner. And I was like, oh, they don't even let them in the middle of the street. Like, like yeah. it was, it's weird. 
That's funny, dog. You grew up in Compton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did, like did, did you live by the Serena Williams sisters? No, I don't know them bitches. No? No, nah, man. I grew up like... <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know none of them bitches. I don't know nobody who's famous now from Compton. Like, I don't know them. Not Anthony Anderson? Uh-uh. Easy E? No, 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 uh, uh, uh. The game? Nope, never seen him in my life. What about Serena Williams' dad? I think he whooped me once. (laughs) (laughs) Don't he seem like one of them dads that whoop all the neighborhood kids and shit? Like, (laughs) you know, your mama don't want you in that street and weed your ass with a tennis racket. Uh, And like, and and all the parents that can't handle the kids be like, "Oh, you want to go to Williams' house?" (laughs) Yeah. Hey, did you watch the movie? Nah, I ain't see that shit. I, I watched the slap. Yeah, yeah, but I ain't see the movie. Is it good? It's good, dog. It Will did it before the slap. Yeah, I know. He practiced on the sister. <laughs> <laughs> so what's cracking, homie? Like you know what's shit. a trip, dog? Is uh, I, I out of comedians, Twitter and Instagram, I follow yours, dog. You crack me up. I, I don't <laughs> like it too much because you know, this fool's kid, he, he's kissing ass, dog. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, you be posting some fucking funny shit up there, dog. <laughs> yeah. Like your workouts. Oh. Nigga, I'll be wild and out. I don't know. And it's so funny because sometimes I post shit. I don't even think that shit crazy. I just like, but like, you ever seen one of me on that damn treadmill? And I was going as fast as I can. <laughs> I was being serious. I thought that was just cool. And niggas was like, you look retarded. And That's fucking like, funny. Yeah. What, what, what were you doing with the boxing? So I be uh that's how that's how I work out. Like I don't like going to like twenty four hour fitness or like no damn fitness center because I gotta have a purpose. So like I'll go to the so I'm gonna go to the boxing gym for like ten years and shit, and I just work out like them because I want a lean ass body and not a you know not a George body. Hell no. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck that is. Yeah. <laughs> this is like like I have the body of like a chola that owns three laundry mats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man, but. I'm pretty sure you're a strong guy, though, so that's all that matters. No, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I've worked out, dog. I've worked out since ninth grade until I was, like, 34. I think you gave it up. And then when I was, like, it's just, I went to prison when I was 30. Yeah. And I got out when I was 34. That was your first time ever going to prison? Yeah. When you was 30? Yeah. That's good. But I went to county and other shit before <laughs> that. Yeah, I mean, I, but it, I got caught for something I did in my 20s. Oh. You know, like, like. Don't ever believe her. You're like, hey, homie, it's been fucking four years. They don't, they don't, they're not looking for me no more, dog. Oh, uh, dog. Do you know how they got dirty? Me? Huh? They fucking. I was DJing at a strip club and they raided it. What? Yeah, dog. They was looking for you specifically. Yeah. They were like George Pruitt. It was six twenty-five, dog. Works over at six thirty. A.M. At no P.M. Oh, oh, okay. Damn. And all the strippers were like, this motherfucker's gangster. Damn. I bailed myself out. I was filming MTV Your Mama when that shit happened. Damn. So, yeah, but, like, hey, dog, like, I got out of prison, and then I worked out for a little bit, and then, like. Did you work out in prison? Oh, man, every day, mandatory. Yeah, yeah, you Why never been in prison? Be... Hell no. You ever been locked up, like, at a Raider game or anything? Nah, hell no. Yeah. I went to one Raider game. I saw Bo Jackson and Marcus Allen play. No yep. way. Yep, yep, you was a little kid. No way. Yep, yep. Tell me about that. How, um, how old were you? Um, I was probably like six, seven, six or seven, maybe eight. Okay. And uh, I think I was being good in class or something like that. So the teacher, uh, so the teacher gave us like free Raider tickets. Me and my auntie. So we went Damn. there. Yep. And I saw them play against the Kansas City Chiefs. Yep. Damn. Them niggas, them niggas lost that shit. But yeah, I remember that shit it was like me. Oh, and my Jackson's went, hard. Hell yeah. Yep. I saw, what's up? It's uh, it's oh, <laughs> a, a fucking cicada. <laughs> and nigga, those... you know what else? I you know what else about LA, nigga? You know what? I used to see uh, I used to see Tyrese singing on the back of the bus. Tyrese? Yep, yep. Because you know he's from Watts. Yeah. So uh, you know where Ross Snyder Park is? I don't know if you no. know where Ross Snyder Park is. See, I grew up. We say Compton, but I grew up in a uh, Eastside Low Bottoms, like 40th and Hooper. So uh, right across the street from Jefferson High School. What's the gangs out there? So I we I know better. Like what? Who, who always plaqued by your house? Uh, to be honest with you, I don't even fucking know. Damn. Like, they did. Eastside, Low Bottoms. So, that's like 40th and Hooper. I don't know who the fuck be over there. Okay. But I but I moved from there when I was eight, so I didn't really get a chance to, like, get oh, immersed okay. in, like, the gang. Like, then I moved to ball. You was like Trey for Boys in the Hood. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I was like him. Like, a lot of times, I don't know a lot of niggas because I didn't really go outside like that. Like, I was a... I, 
I was one of them artsy ass niggas. I stayed in the house. My auntie wouldn't let me go out. I was always on punishment and shit. So I don't know none of them niggas. I'm pretty sure YG was around somewhere. Nigga. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, he just shot somebody. Why can't he go outside? <laughs> Yeah, so bro, you like, grew up over there with you grew up with your auntie. Yeah, yeah. So I got uh, uh, you know, my mom was like on drugs and all that shit. So you know, and he gave me to her little sister. And then, was she on drugs when you were born? Uh, yeah, I'm a crack baby. <laughs> I was a crack baby. I'm a man now. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So uh, they had to give us up, they had to give us up to like the system and shit. And then so my auntie ended up coming to get me when I was like five, and yeah. then. I, Grew up with my auntie from age five through eight, and then from age eight, uh, uh, eleven through nineteen. Damn, shit. yeah. But I was like, oh, I was, I, I was raised in the system and shit. Yeah, no, my uh, my son, his mom has kids from someone else, and uh, when the they were born, she had a kid, and it was born. They had drugs in the system, and they took it away. Really? Yeah, and like I had to take my son. He was like, I want to go see my sister, so we used to take him to. Her. Your aunties, like you, yeah, 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 and it's exactly it's the system, dog. It wasn't even that bad though. It's like you don't even know nothing wrong with you though. Like not ain't that nothing wrong ain't with that, you. Not anything wrong with you, but it's like oh, you don't even know that it's a bad thing because you'd be like niggas be like, that's why you, that's why, that's why you, that's why you're a crack baby or whatever the fuck, and you'd be like, hey, but you a kid, you'd be like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> That's the end of They're like, the fuck is that? Why can't baby? I stand still? What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I swear to God, yeah. See, but so like you didn't even have ADHD. You had crack baby. Nigga. Oh God, yep. <laughs> I had <guess> CBB. <laughs> CBB what? CBB. Oh God, like, yep. Like, and then Did so you I play got... sports? Mm, baseball in high school and little shit like that. I played okay. like I was good at sports, but I didn't play it like really, really, really. I like could play organized. like recreationally. Like yeah. if we got a pickup game and shit like that, I'm a I'm balling, but like, like, like recreate. I mean, like, yeah. like football team. I can't. Yeah. Did you even play nothing? Hell yeah, dog. I was varsity my sophomore year. Oh, football, yeah. Yeah. Outside linebacker and receiver. See, I was a little bitch. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I went to Dorsey and fuck. I, I went to Dorsey. That's and a good like, school. Yeah, it's a good school for sure. Good hood, good hood school. Yeah. For sure. And um, I didn't want to get like them niggas. I don't know something about football where it's like, especially like when niggas get older and shit, they was hitting. And I was over here like, oh, I don't know, nigga. I'm trying to, I'm trying to act like. <laughs> <laughs> so I told, so uh, so they was begging me to play on the football team because I was fast as fuck. I could see that, dog. Fast. But I, uh, but I was like, man, I don't want to get hit like that. So I said, uh, I said I played a punter, nigga. I punt or whatever. <laughs> and it was like, well, let me see you kick, and I, I could kick. And it was like, oh, okay, well, then you should come back. And I, and I was like, all right. And I never, ever came back. Yeah, because the kicker still has to go through practice. Hell, yeah. Two hours just to kick again? And I, <laughs> and I didn't like, like, I didn't like, like, staying after school, like, when I don't got to be at school, like, type yeah. of shit. So, I like baseball, nigga, where I could just hang out in the outfield and shit, and something come, I'm like, oh, let me go get that, and I throw it back. That that's a great philosophy. Hang out like <laughs> like the outside outfield nigga was a hangout nigga. Like you just be talking to left field, and right field, and shit like that. I'm like, oh, it's a ball. Nigga. Shit back. Yeah, homie, where, where you grew up, uh, a lot of people don't know that Mexicans are the majority of people in that area. Yep. And yep. I didn't know that. Yeah. I went to I went to Compton the first time I went to Compton. Mm-hmm. My stupid ass was like. My friends, well, my cousin was like, yo, let's go to the Compton Indoor Swamp Meet. And I was like, hell yeah. And I didn't know, but I knew I was just like, you know what, fuck this shit, homie. I'm going. Like, I'm I'm a homie. Yeah. And I went out there, dog, and those motherfucking, there was like, there was these fools there. I think they were from the uh, Tortilla Flats. And they were just like, where the fuck are you, motherfucker? Pull, like, pulled out a gun on me. I'm like, yeah. I'm 14. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like, we're supposed to fight. <laughs> you know like, I knew of that shit, but I was like, yo, dog, you're going to shoot me in the daytime? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> That's crazy. Like, and then the I was like, and I just remember the fool going, like, I was just like, hey, I'm from Orange County. I'm from Orange County, dog. I'm not from a gang. I just hang out with my family, my friends. And they're just like. <laughs> I just hang out with my family, my friends. And they was like. That was his plea. <laughs> no, and they were like, what the fuck you doing here? I was like, I. I've always wanted to come to the Compton. Indoor, yeah. <laughs> you sound so white, like no, like, I know, but like you know, I was. I've always wanted to come here, and yeah, yeah. and and then like they were just like, "Fuck it, come through, homie." But hey, this is our hood, and I was just like, "All right, like 
Yeah. Like, See, y'all fools too far for me to gang bang like, with. I just want a name belt. <laughs> like, <laughs> like <laughs> the one that says G just, on it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> hey, hey, that is the fucking OG homie Charlo thing. The fucking, the fucking, oh, yeah. Black guys don't do that. Crips and Bloods, they don't put their lighter up there. They hood. I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember that. I yeah, remember that. I think that's ours. Do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, but remember, like maybe in the early two thousands, like with the LED belts and uh, hood rat chicks that had the LED belts and say their names on that shit. I remember that shit. Them hoes. across. Dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, hey, them hoes like was fun. bad though. He's like, oh shit. Yeah. So. uh what I was trying to say is uh, about the Twitter shit we were on. I'm glad we were segmenting right there to it. Um, you've been in continuous movies, though. Yeah. Like, yeah. What was the one where you were in with the cat? Oh, Keanu. Keanu. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keanu that was my first. Uh, like, I I, I, well, I, I, I thought you and Tiffany Haddish had the same agent back then because uh, you guys were in a lot of movies together. No, we did. No, no, we did that one, and I I wrote on the Carmichael. I wrote on the Carmichael show, and she was she played the sister on the Carmichael show. Oh, so we kind of was like bumping okay. into each other. Yeah, we grew up kind of alike though too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like like around like the Crenshaw area too, or whatever. But yep, like yeah. But I'm in. Hey, nigga, uh, the first movie I ever been in was a uh, was a uh, the Quentin Tar- Quentin Tarantino Daddy. Produ- or sponsored this movie or produced this movie called Underbelly Blues. What is it about? Okay, it was about uh, what's 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 uh, what's Quentin Tarantino's famous movie? Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. It was like that, but like a but like a Payless version, bro. It was like because <laughs> it was it was it was about the suitcase, right? It was about this suitcase yeah. that went from person to person to person, right? Like Pulp Fiction. Yeah. But uh, but ours was like that, except for uh, it was like the secret ingredient to like a soda or whatever, and it was some shit like that. But I played this rapper named Euphoric, and I'm all Euphoric. fucking Euphoric. Yeah, yeah. They let us. This is how bullshit. This I'm not bullshit. I appreciate it for doing. It. I mean, for letting us do it. They let us freestyle how they wrote the movie. They just let us. They just kept putting us together and just let us just improvise over weeks. And then they wrote the script like that, like as we was improvising and shit. And then that's how they came Damn. up with this movie. And then, and then it was actually shot pretty good. And then <laughs> some people have different methods. I don't know how they got this shit to Quentin Tarantino, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Like we shot that, it was me, Nate, her. Like the, the movie is, I don't know. All I know is that in that movie, if you find it, there is a scene where a nigga get his dick cut off and then he get it glued on his face and shit, and then he just chilling there like, man, what am I gonna do now? And then like the dick like, shaking and shit, like it's a wild movie, bro. But like anyway, but, but spit a flow you did on the movie, dog? Huh? You, did you do any flows? Nah, nigga, I played a rapper who was like faking his uh faking his identity and shit like you know what i'm saying like yeah i'm tough or whatever no man i'm just a bitch ass man I, I, come on man I'm, I'm a church guy you know what i'm saying like oh. it's like one of them niggas like, they didn't even let me rap in that shit i was just i told you the movie didn't really make no motherfucking sense like <laughs> why hey, was there a rapper like did you ever do rap battle rap battles yeah remember rose battle then they had the rap battle nigga i remember i was the host of the comedy rap battle remember yeah, that that's yeah yep yeah. did you ever do it nah. oh that was the roast battle before the roast battle, yeah? bro. Yeah. That was like, it was called Comedy Rap Battle. And um, so, comics would go on stage. This is at the store in the belly room. Yep. 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 Uh, comics would go on stage and shit, and they'll do, stand- do stand up. And then this comic would go on stage, and they'll, and they'll do stand up. And then at the end of it, they rap battle each other. And then whoever wins or whatever, they go on to like the finals, kind of sort of like. Oh, shit. I like that little premise. Yeah. 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 Uh, Chris Burns. That was like me, Chris Burns, and Jeremy Scipio. Like, we produced that shit. You didn't, you didn't jump on that shit ever? I wasn't around. Oh. I came to the store like in 2010. Yeah. No, I, I came later. I came like 2011. I, yeah, I feel like when you first started, when you was coming around, like, I I'm went surprised th- I didn't see you as often as often as I do now. I'm like, oh, when you start coming around more, like, you came around like when Rose Battles start popping. Yeah, I think yeah. kind of I came around. I remember exactly. I went to the comedy store when Tommy was a manager for like a month or two. Yeah. And then after that, I, like I was there for before those two months, so two months before they fired, or maybe yeah, but I did roast battle first. It was at the yeah yeah. I think you battled like Joe Doss or some shit. No, nah, I battled some fool that had like a beard and shit first. 
And it was the undercard. But you you freestyled on them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. cooked them. I remember that shit. I remember Leslie was there. And she, I mean, dude, I've known Leslie Jones for she used to live in Orange. She from Compton. Yeah, yeah. yeah she yeah. used to live in Orange, though. Oh, yeah? She went to Chapman College. Dog, she used to be in the garage with my gangster older homies, dog. For real? Yeah. Just hanging out? like I uh, used to have a place in Orange called El Patio on Tustin and Catella. Yeah. And she used to do comedy there, dog. What? Yeah, she would. Was she like funny like back then, or was she just like bold, or was she just like? Um, what was a Leslie like? H- how can I say it? Uh, Leslie brings like a a Bo Jackson presence. Yeah, she got a crazy fucking presence. Yeah, like when she come out, it's like oh shit. Yeah, you can't even take your eyes off of her. Yeah, shit. like she e- yeah, even when she was little, you're like, who aunt is this? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like this bitch take over the whole room. Like just yeah, her aura. Yeah, and. Uh, Nah, dog. Leslie Jones used to fucking uh, host a comedy club. I think it was in South Central. Yeah. It was uh, it was start like a two, three in the morning. Her and Tommy Chun. Oh yeah. The black yeah, guy yeah. from Detroit. Yeah, yeah. He funny. Yeah. As fuck. And then the homeboy Low. There was okay. a guy named Low. R. I. P. And a dog. Yo, homie. It's three thirty in the morning. Leslie's hosting. Guess who she brings up? Who? Fucking uh. I think it was uh. Cowboy. Some and then Eddie Murphy's in the crowd. What? Yeah. Where was this? It was uh in in like South Central, dude. I dude, I would leave the strip club and bring seven strippers with me because Tommy, Tommy would be like, and then Leslie was the first host, and then Tommy Chum would host, and there was this guy named Low. They would sell weed out of there, drinks. They had strippers in there and shit, and then it was just like grown folk calm. Like Linnell was there. I'm talking old Scruncho was there. Yeah, like, yeah. It's OGs were there. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I remember Eddie Murphy was in the crowd, dog. What? That's crazy. Yeah. yeah, man, that shit fucking crazy. And this is back in the day, day, dog. And I ain't gonna lie, for I remember like doing that room and going, "Yeah, homie, uh, Eddie was here tonight." My shit. Did you go up in front of that? Yeah. Oh yeah. Did you like I don't him? think he's seen me. Oh okay. But like back then, I was just different fear. I didn't have jokes. I was up there just bagging off food. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, what's what you said? You want to say something about me, bitch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like I had material, but I didn't know how to even fucking do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, man, I remember. Uh, I remember. I remember shit like Eddie Murphy would be in the audience at like the comedy store, and then <laughs> niggas would go up, <laughs> be shook in front of that nigga, like. I seen niggas ruin a whole big, big, big break <laughs> because they were nervous in front of Eddie Murphy. <laughs> because uh, it was like me, it's like me, Willie, Gerard, like we'll be, we'd be like Eddie Murphy here, and we'll sit in the back, of, we'll sit in the back of like the comedy, uh, like like by like in the all the way in the back in the booths, uh-huh. she like all the way in the back, and then Eddie Murphy would be like right there watching Tripping on Tuesday, or whatever, and the Earthquake was hosting and all yeah. that shit or whatever. And then so we just came in to see what Eddie laughed at and shit. So we'd be in the back or whatever. So we'd be watching them. Watch it when we watch Eddie. We're like, oh, he thought that was funny. I'm just, I'm like, all I know is that that nigga love Earthquake. That's all. Dude, Earthquake's fire. Earthquake a god. He like, OG. Earthquake is a god, bro. Yeah. I remember. Oh, nigga. One time, Eddie Mur. Okay, okay. One time there was a uh, there was a limo. There was a limo uh, parked on the uh, you know where uh, the Argus spot. Or whatever, like yeah, like at the Argus spot or whatever. There was a limo park right there, bro. I walk up and I was at the like, man, I was trying to be funny or whatever in front of these. I was like, hey, nigga. I was like, all right, y'all, I'm about to go, man. I'm about to go. And I was and I was pulling on like the limo door or whatever. And the limo driver got out like, hey, man, take your hand off of that or whatever, right? <laughs> and I was like, ah, nigga, I'm just playing or whatever, nigga. Eddie Murphy get out the motherfucking limo, and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. You were scared of Eddie, not the security guard. Nigga, that's Eddie. I, was like, oh. I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm so fucking sorry. I'm so fucking sorry. Damn. But what'd he say? He just came back. Nothing. Like, yeah. <laughs> Nothing. Damn. Yeah, I hey, homie. I remember the first time I heard Eddie Murphy was sixth grade. My older brothers had the delirious tape. And, like, my mom was an immigrant mom, but she knew what was up. But I would just be like, hey, check it out. My, uh. I want to stay home and watch this movie all day, all clean. Just tell the school I'm sick. She's like, all right, I don't give a fuck. I don't want to go pick you up from school. Cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I fucking stayed and watched Eddie Murphy the whole day, dog. Went back to school. No one's seen Eddie Murphy. Yeah. I went back to school and did all his shit, dog. Yeah. Hey, I, I, I kissed. Three girls kissed me. What? <laughs> <laughs> they was like, do the ice cream bit. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, oh. hey, dude, dude, hey, dude. hey, you're right, though. You know how we were talking about, like, 
Eddie Murphy dog and Richard Pryor. Yeah. What do you think of that comparison? That's like Kobe and Mike. It is like Eddie. Eddie made. Eddie just made it like. I like how you're looking at him right now, dog. <laughs> I don't know, man. When I see Eddie, I see, I see, I see the rock star. Like, yeah, I see he's that. turning next level. Yeah, yeah. So he was like, if if, if Eddie, I mean, if uh, Richard Pryor was like a motherfucking like, like an Elvis or like a rock star and shit or whatever. But you know who else was just as big as him, as as far as a comedian, nobody ever talked about it was that nigga Andrew Dice Clay. Yeah, yeah. Andrew Dice Clay was like the white. But he, uh, but like, and I'm not putting Andrew Dice Clay down, but Andrew Dice Clay wasn't big in the black community or the Mexican community. Eddie Murphy was big in every fucking community. Dice yeah. Clay was there, but he was like Tim Duncan. His like, pandemonium was crazy, though, no? Yeah, but like, how can I say it? There's probably. M- he was like the Dan Cook before Dan Cook. Yeah, yeah. I mean, hey, dog, Joey D has told me that he fucking was the only comedian. He, that Guns N' Roses did the fucking Rose Bowl and Joey Diaz goes I was there cocksucker Rose Bowl sold out Dice Clay came out nobody wanted to hear Welcome to the Jungle whoa they, they were mad this motherfucker got off stage you know how he always says your full name's like George Perez yeah <laughs> he, always, he always say your full name Joey Diaz is like George Perez never seen no one with Dice Clay did I mean but I don't know. Like, to me, I can relate to Eddie Murphy way more. And Dice was bad, but, like... You you know what it is? I just... I, I, I pay attention to the comic, yeah. But I also just pay attention to the audience of, like, what's going on. Like, just to see that nigga... Uh, just to see Dice in the middle of a... I mean, just in a circle fucking... What's the name? Whatever. Like, with all these fucking wild ass motherfuckers. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you're right. You're and right. And he's just over here doing poetry and shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, some hood ass poetry. No, no, but but Eddie, Eddie is crazy. I mean, Eddie's I mean, Eddie smooth. raw, Eddie bad. Like, he Eddie. can be. He can, like, hey, dog, Jamie Fox is wanna is a wanna be Eddie to me. He's someone that can act. Sing, yeah, 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 yeah. He Jamie, did his own thing with it, but yeah, yeah, you know. But Ed, Eddie's dog. Hey, 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 I'll tell you this. Okay, okay, you may think this is a little like uh, controversial, but funny for funny. I just got it. I I think I think Jamie Foxx is a funnier stand-up comedian than Eddie Murphy. All right, you guys, we're gonna get <laughs> Jamar Neighbors. We're gonna we're gonna call the hospital. Could someone call a doctor? We're gonna take a break. We'll be right I'm back. I'm saying funny for funny. <laughs> and we're back like a hood rat in a Cadillac, waiting for the sizzag. Yeah. George Fred Stories is also brought to you by La Venedita Meat Market, located in Whittier, California. Look, guys, if you're trying to throw a real carne asada, you like carne asada, Jamar? I'll fuck with carne asada. Hell yeah. Hey, I'm going to take you to La Venedita, dog. Hey, homie, fire. Okay. You remember the movie Boys in the Hood? That's the meat. They got the meat right there. When they were doing the barbecue, when they was like, yo, hoes got to eat, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's La Venedita meat, dog. Even Furious is like bringing They catered that party? Back. No, nah, I'm fucking. Oh, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I don't remember seeing no damn Mexicans. What I do? Don't forget, give them a follow and go to the store La Venedita Market, located in Whittier. So we're back, dog. And hey, uh, I would like to apologize, and I would like to take that Jamie Fox Eddie Murphy comment back, man. I realize I just disrespected the whole comedy game. <laughs> They're equally funny. Hell no. <laughs> Jamie's a better actor. Yeah, do you think that nigga Eddie Murphy could could have done Ray? Yeah, hell no yeah. No way. Eddie did he, didn't look like him. Jamie did. Ray was one of the best performances yeah. of all time. Ever. Let me ask you a better question. Come on, go ahead, a, dog. This is, this is Jamar always, Neighbor stories. Go this ahead. Is a, this, is a, this debate I always have. Do you think that Eddie Murphy could have done the mask? Hmm. I always say people say yes. I always say hell no. I think he could have done the do rag. <laughs> I, I don't know like there's never been a movie where What's a black movie? guy wore a mask what or... the movie look like what, what, the, what happened when he put on the do-rag oh no he'd be like he'd be... <laughs> start grip walking like... <laughs> that little dog has a do-rag <laughs> Nigga, that's hilarious. Right. <laughs> Nigga, put that motherfucker on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
Hey, let's hey hey let's do that. You be the do rag. Oh please, please. Hey, hey, let's do let's do a little stay. Hey, let's fuck around. Remember how we were talking about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I f- hey dog like if you notice what uh, Adam Sandler did, he did comedy movies with his friends, right? <laughs> What's what happened? Your hat, dog. You got the do rag. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! What's up? What's up, nigga? Hey, the do rag is kind of the premise of Nutty Professor. Do you think Jamie Foxx could have done Nutty Professor? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. He could have done all those. A million percent. A uh, hell yeah. I can see that. Yeah, for sure. I don't. That, oh. Okay, that, okay. That table okay. scene was crazy though. Like that, that, that dinner scene was. Who wrote crazy. that? You think Eddie wrote that? I think he helped. Okay. Um, yeah, but he, he didn't write that. Hell no. If that's a remake. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this uh, one, you love Jamie Foxx on the low, huh? How did you feel about him being, wasn't he like in a coma or something? You know, yeah, that nigga, yeah. His face got like skinny. Did you see that shit? Hell yeah. Yeah, man. That's crazy. I wonder what happened. For real, huh? Who's your favorite comic of all time? Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor. See, I... Richard Pryor is like a uh, god to me as far as comedy because like I seen Eddie first and then I seen Richard and I was like, what the fuck? You could see, I mean, Richard did it longer. He he invented, Richard Pryor was the first comedian to ever make fun of white people and white people paid to go see it. Oh. Like this fool was real, like I wanted to be, I wanted pimps and gangsters to come to my shows. Dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think about that shit. Motherfuckers that don't pay for pussy are paying for a Richard Pryor ticket. Yeah. That's interesting. And I, I don't know. I mean, I, his movies, to me, I don't... I mean, Richard Pryor, if he had the production that they have now, dog, like the, it would have been... like His movies were like done not by like great producers and directors. I think I think the greatest special, to me, this is going to be crazy again. Hit me. Ever shot? Like ever just shot and was like, oh, that is a perfect special. Was uh, you so crazy, Marn? That shit was hard as fuck. That shit, like that was like some that was like some other shit, right? So you had like so you had Pryor, you know, so you had Murphy, but Martin was like some some nineties, like he was like in his own little. Since, like you know, you know what's crazy is when I see Martin, I see I see uh, Mike a lot of Martin Mike Epps. Like, oh yeah, yeah. Like they know how to be funny and then make their body funny. Yep. That makes the joke funnier. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like my favorite special of all time, and it's not my favorite comedian, is Eddie Murphy Delirious. Delirious. Yeah, nigga. When I saw that shit, nigga, I like was the outfit, yeah. the whole. My, he was yep. clowning gay people to their face, and got and he clowned gay people and got Disney. Didn't he say? Didn't he say faggot like like eighty two times or some shit in a special? It's like damn, like. Yeah. no one protested. <laughs> and then he did it in the second one. Remember? Yeah, then he said it uh, one hundred ninety two times. <laughs> this dude, he set the record for that. I didn't and know. and in, my second one, dog, is it my Pimp Chronicles? Favorite? Nah. Oh. All right. George Lopez, dog. Oh, why are you crying? Dog. Right there, I nigga, seen that, and I was like, yo. Nigga, what is fucking auntie? Nigga, talking about <laughs> yeah. Hey, using like, everything, at, using everything. I was like, okay. He was like. <laughs> Bruh. Yeah. yeah, he was cold. That was his first shit, huh? Yeah, but then after that, Dave Chappelle's taking it for me now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember know. when we did Roast Battle and at Dave Chappelle? Hey, dog. I took a hard L in front of Chappelle. <laughs> hard L. <laughs> uh, they was like, I was like, all right, dog. Like, <laughs> we are going to have a roast battle. <laughs> hey, That's- hey, right? Hey, dog. It's in it's in like a Mexican area, and there's no Mexicans in the show. It's rich, rich people. The Golden State Warriors were there. Yeah. And Hannibal Burris was yeah, there. Yeah, Hannibal Burris was there. Chris Rock. Uh, Donya Rawlings. And then Brian Moses and them. We were the opening act. Yeah, we were the opening of the show. Then he was like, he was like all right, Jamar, you're going to battle George Perez. And I was like, all right. And then, and then and I, I didn't even see. I just. He didn't even write. I, didn't, I remember on, you On God of Heaven. On God of Heaven. I was at the like, all right. I was like, I just. I think I wrote like two things and shit. 
And then I took a I took a hard L. It wasn't I a hard L, but I, 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 took, I, took, hard. I, took, I took a hard L. Because they told me like Dave Chappelle was going to judge. Brian Moses pumped remember, me remember up. Remember he asked us? Remember, <laughs> remember Dave Chappelle asked us, bro? He was up to like, he was like, oh, you guys got a rose battle? And then he was like, so who's going to take that one? And then I was up to like, I was like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. <laughs> And everybody was like, who's this fucking troll over here, eh? That nigga George whooped my ass, bro. Like, <laughs> like, like <laughs> I was like, fuck. <laughs> but you know what was crazy, dog? Is like, uh, yo, homie, Dave Chappelle was there. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. like, yo, man, like, Clay Thompson and fucking Draymond Green was there. Yeah. And they, like, said, what's up to me? And they're like, they were like, yo, I see you in the Rose Bowl. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they had say shit to me. <laughs> <laughs> they was like, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Not because Black Lives Matters just came out that month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember my first joke, dog. I was like, Jamar, your comedy's so bad. I don't think Black Lives Matter. I don't. I said yeah, something like, about that. I wonder if you disappeared if you're black live with matter. Yeah. Like that. And I was like, And they was like, yeah. I was like, that's cheating. <laughs> black Lives Matter is hot. <laughs> like, yeah, I said, dog. I said, uh, I said, I said, uh, I said, George, I said, George has a kid. Uh, he, he just turned MS-13. Yeah. <laughs> and that joke, it didn't even do that good, bro. It Not, didn't even do that good. I died. <laughs> I was like, thank God. Because they don't know MS. It, it's like high industry crowd. Yeah. You know? It, hey, dog, it was high industry. This was like the first time I went to a show and they took phones away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. It was zipping them all up and shit. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, hey, homie, how, hey, I need my phone back. <laughs> you know, so I wouldn't even I wouldn't even embarrass the officers like man. No, nah, dude, it, yeah, <laughs> no, nah, it was great, dog. Nah, was cool. Speaking of roast battle, dog, done some big shit with that. I've seen you on fucking TV a lot with that. Who came up with the wave? Uh, shit. I, mm. Look, look, if I be like me, but then other people start joining in, okay. kind of, sort of. So, okay. I mean, we all kind of, you know, Voltron and all that shit. Okay. But, you know, but you I, was the first piece. Yeah, I was the first nigga. Like, like you know how, like, uh, you know how, like, uh, uh, niggas be over laughing and shit like that, like, in, like, Def Jam audiences and yeah. shit like that. So, that's what I was trying to do. So, anytime I might do a joke, I'd be, like, over laughing and shit. And then Willie came in or whatever. He's like, what are you doing? And then I was just like, hey, ain't I need to say something terrible? He's like, nigga, just act dumb. And then Jeremiah came in or whatever. He's like, what are you guys doing? And then, like, we all just started. And that shit just grew like that. Whatever. I just saw them niggas yesterday, though, man. But, yep. So that shit. Uh, he's all sad. He's like, yeah. Yeah, man. The damn way. We was doing crazy shit, nigga. Like, I remember, dog. In the beginning, beginning. Niggas didn't want niggas didn't I niggas didn't want the wave to come out. It's like that made that that made you feel even better, bro. Like, yeah, man, like man. if your joke hit and he hit, like yeah. No, no, no. We no, no. We did it when we did it when they missed. We did it when they missed. Like when the joke would be bad or whatever. If the joke and then that make them that make them niggas feel even like worse. Like that shit is fucking crazy. I don't fucking know. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I um I remember the first time, nigga. Uh, <laughs> we was wild out so much that first time. I was like, all right, nigga. I went to Goodwill and I got a cat suit. I bought like a cat uh like a cat outfit. And I said, all right, nigga. When somebody fuck up, nigga, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'm gonna come out in this shit. And I'm gonna just be on like this. I'm gonna just be on the list. I'm going to be on like a little stool like this. Niggas going to be like, what the fuck? And I did that shit, nigga. It was the biggest laugh. And I think that that's when like the wave, that's when we got like, oh, niggas start doing costumes. And shit. Yeah. Niggas start playing with fire. Niggas start doing wild shit like backflipping, all kind of shit or whatever. Is Rose Battle still going to come out another season? I don't know, bro. Like that shit been done since. They, 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 they trying to turn it into like a, into like a sport. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like a worldwide league. And yeah, stuff like now. how your mama was. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Hey, did you ever see the old school your mama? Bagging? Yeah. Yeah, with well, Ralphie with May. And all yeah. Motherfuckers. Corey Holcomb was, hey, that one little white boy, who is that for? I don't know, but he was bad, right? He, he was, was bad. He was kind of like deadpan a little bit, but he was yeah, like it's, he was a sniper. It's, he was like Tony Hinchcliffe if he was from Miami. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, yep, like yep. he had his hair like Don Johnson, and he would wear a tank top with like an open silky shirt. Monique, Chris Tucker was on that shit. Yeah, that yeah. shit. Was, uh, fucking uh, the fool from uh, uh, Smokey. Smokey from Friday. 
Oh, Chris Tucker was on that shit, yeah? No, yeah. Not the other one. Uh, AJ Johnson? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. AJ, oh, he died now. Yeah, R.I.P. Did you ever see him come through? Nah, I heard about him, though. Oh, okay, because his brother, Peanut. Yeah, I know Peanut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. Used to do comedy and shit like that. Yeah. But, hey, the AJ killed Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought he was going to get more shit after that, but they kept on sticking him in, like, more, like, hood movies and shit. Like, I got the hook up. That shit was bad. Like, Black and blue. Nigga, why, niggas don't make hood classics no more, though, bro. Nah. They do, but they don't go nowhere. They all go to Tubi, huh? Yeah, fuck with Tubi. I remember Tubi was like, you want us to film your special? I was like, come on, player. You haven't even heard it yet. Yeah, yeah. Is it that bad? Hey, would you ever shoot a Tubi movie? Nah. Nigga, let's do the do-rag shit. No, we're what better than Tubi. Do? Yeah, but let's just do it anyway. I'm down, dog. All right. The <laughs> do-rag. <laughs> Nigga, put that shit on. Let me play Carmen Diaz. Or Carmen. <laughs> <laughs> this is an inclusive movie. <laughs> what? Yeah, hey, you're the do-rag and you fight me. I'm the bandana. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that shit hard. Hey, uh, did you grow up in the do rag era? I did. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, fool. Like, I remember one time wearing a do rag, and then all my homeboys beat me up. And so my brothers, like, hey, homie, we don't wear that shit. Can you still grow hair if you want to? Fully. Oh, yeah. Fully. Oh. See, like, I what I did is I used to put like a stocking on my hair to train it to go back. And then I put the do rag on top. And one time I wore it out the room like Met the Man. It was like hanging, like Met the Man was out like, hey, and they were like, Fuck you ain't from New York. What the yeah, fuck is yeah, wrong yeah. with you? Man, that shit crazy. Nah, man. I think that's why I always start going bald because I just start putting all that damn wave grease in my damn hair, bro. You're bald? Yeah, my shit fucked up though. It's like it's like splitting and shit, and it's like it's some weird shit going on in my hair. And that's all because of the damn sporting waves. I'm trying to be white. <laughs> God damn it. What's a sport like white like Malcolm X when he used to put the straightener on there? Sporting waves, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was like the wave grease and shit. And niggas would brush it like constantly. Remember, niggas would always fucking brush their hair. Yeah. And shit. What it, What does this mean? Oh, that's that's when a chick hair itch. Okay. That's when your hair <laughs> itch, but they don't want to fuck it up or whatever. So they just. <laughs> yeah. You know, you can scratch most shit like. Tell that. me you didn't know what that meant. <laughs> they were like, you didn't hey, know that I, shit. Yeah. Uh, I. <laughs> I remember some girl going like, I was like, hey, what's up, homegirl? <laughs> you see, it's like, she like her hey. shit itch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that shit. Nah, man. Yeah, hey. man. Anyway, I tell you that time I saw uh, Quentin Tarantino, Daddy Dick. No. Man. Was so, it on so, set? <laughs> no, it was at an after party. <laughs> 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 this nigga uh, wanted to, so, you know, Underbelly Blues I was talking about earlier. So uh, we was at a little premiere for it, and uh, one of the actors, his name was Ant Dub or some shit. He was like, uh, he was showing Quentin Tarantino, <laughs> dad, like his dick, his name, and then uh, he was like, "Yeah, dog, look at that dick, it's the size of a horse, right?" That's <laughs> what Ant Dub said. And then Quint, I mean, I mean, uh, Tarantino, he was over here like uh, Tony Tarantino was up there, like, "Let me see, let me see." He said, "No, no, let me show you, let me show you." And they pulled this shit out. I was like, "What the fuck is going on here, dog? Wow. Making that shit look like a gogurt tube, bro?" No way. Man, that shit crazy. I saw. Does Tarantino he look like his son? From. You could, t- you could tell, you could tell that. Yeah, if they said, "Hey, this is Quentin Tarantino and dad or whatever," you'd be they're like, oh, I can see that." It's yeah. more like that. I look just like my dad. For real? And my mom, I look like my dad, but my dad kind of looked like my mom a little bit. What? So, yeah. <laughs> I, I remember my mom said that. She goes, you don't look like me, fool. Your dad looks like me, so you kind of look like both of us. And I was like, what the fuck? That's cr- Oh, you got parents that like look alike? Kind of. Uh. Like, they're from the same part of Mexico. Mm. They got raped by the same Spanish people. Oh, probably the same guy, too. <laughs> like, like <laughs> That's crazy, bro. You ever think about... Hey, I, I'm not saying I think about crazy shit, but, like, I, I watch, like, fucking uh, Mongols and Vikings, and it's, like... It's pretty fucking crazy. Back in the days, like, there wasn't a war crime against conquering your enemy and then oh. raping their women so you're bloodstream state like hey do you know what the vikings did wait wait, wait. hold on hold on go back what are you getting at uh, look so this is what the vikings did this okay. is why this is what i heard a, th- a conspiracy why the women in sweden greece and norway and finn were so beautiful so when the vikings invaded you they would fucking kill and beat up all the ugly bitches and throw them in the river and take all the fine chicks back and mate with them and that's why they got that's why beautiful women. women. Norway, Sweden, Fenway. Like, 
Even the cat was like, I heard that too. Damn, bro. You look like Keanu. <laughs> uh, dude, that's crazy, bro. Nah, hey, I don't, I ain't never seen my dad in my life. So I be taking. Damn, him, never? Like, ever. Not I even a picture? Nah, hell no. Nah. So, you don't know what he looked like? Uh uh. So one time. <laughs> So one time I was like, man, so I was trying to do this thing, nigga, where I was trying to draw all the features that I don't got on my mom. <laughs> <laughs> and they be like, just say this shit on stage, yeah. dog. And I was like, I don't know who the fuck that nigga is. <laughs> who the fuck is that? Like, it was like missing like one eye and shit like that. I was like, ah, eh, fuck. Damn. That shit, yeah. The guy remember I was trying to do that shit. I was like, what does this nigga look like, bro? Is he alive? I don't know. You have no information. I have no idea, bro. Damn. And, my, and I be trying to ask my mom. She get mad. She be like, nigga, ask me that shit one more time. <laughs> For real? Then I say, I don't know. <laughs> like, oh, wow. Yep. Damn, that's some shit, dog. Yeah, that shit crazy, nigga. I don't I know how to follow that. I'm <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah, both your parents, yeah? Yeah, but my, and my dad was like a, hey, dog, my dad was like a cartel <laughs> cholo paisa back then. Oh, really? Like, he real was. Good guy. Nah, yeah, but like. He wasn't like a dad that ever showed affection. He was just a dad that was like, hey, this is the way it needs to be done. And like, if not, you're going to get fucked up. But then like, if you did it, he would show results. Like, dude, my dad used to take us to bring people over the border. Like, he was, I think he put drugs in my backpack once. Nice. And, <laughs> Man, he had a fun, like, upbringing, bro. It wasn't, though, dog. But it, I mean, I had four older brothers. He used to beat the shit out of me, dog. But, you was like, the youngest kid? You the youngest one? Second youngest. Oh, but, so what like, they do to the youngest? Nothing, because, dog, this is how crazy my dad was. My mom got her tubes tied, mm -hmm. and I was stillborn. What? <laughs> what? Yeah, and I have a little brother. What? Yeah. That's crazy. Wait, wait you said you were, you were still born yeah like when a woman has her tubes tied that means they're not supposed to have kids no more right what is it? oh oh because i thought you said he was a stillborn <laughs> i was like well what you mean you ain't supposed to be here <laughs> like no nah, he was still born eh? then that's crazy <laughs> that's a strong nigga man yeah. yeah and uh i think he has like seven other kids from five other chicks oh what yeah my mom was like the last one that like locked him down wow yeah my dad was 38 my mom was 18 they still alive no. None of them? None of them, dog. Wow. It sucks, dog. That's crazy, bro. Yeah. See, but like, I don't know. Nigga, my mom was still alive. I talked to her ass the other day. Does she still smoke? No, nah, she don't smoke nothing. Nah, she like clean as fuck. She actually a warden in a in a, in a prison. And, um, I <laughs> what the a, fuck? Hold on. What, why are we really knowing? Your mom's a warden? Or is she like a... No, no, no she's not a warden. She's a fucking... Uh, um, she's a... Correction officer? Counselor? Yeah, yeah she's, like a, she's like a drug counselor in, okay. in a prison. With SAP, Substance Abuse Program? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I was like in that. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nigga, yeah. They yep. kicked me out. Why? Because I lied about being on drug. Because if you do SAP... So, like, if you go and you be like, hey, man, I'm a fucking druggie. Please put me in this program. And then they'll cut your time by 30%. What? And I went, and, and like, a year later, they're like, dude, you're not, you don't, you never, you never even had a drug crime ever. You're in here for gang banging and drugs and guns. Get the fuck out of here. What? <laughs> yeah. That was smart, though. That was smart, though. Hell, hey, hey, anyway. That, that's brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, dog, but it sucks because you're in a program and, like, it's not like prison. You don't wake up, go to yard. You wake up and you go to class. Oh, like school. You're like in college. Yeah, and and you got to go up there and be like, all right, man. So I used to be. I used to go up there and fucking kill. I was like, yeah, dog. I remember I fucking licked my aunt's pussy for money once. I, I needed. <laughs> you was lying, like, like, yeah. <laughs> was like and they, and they were just like, George, you don't have to share a story. <laughs> He's like, please, <laughs> but I want to. <laughs> Told me if I had Instagram in there, I would I would have had the best channel. Hey dog, you know what sucks, Jamar? What? Prison was fun. <laughs> I didn't to say that shit. Yeah, dog, the only thing that sucked is like that I couldn't leave. Like if I could leave, like after second yard, yeah, I would go home and just come and wake up with everybody. What's up, homie? Yeah. Let's go to chow. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, it, I don't it was just a, a commodity. But when you were younger. What no no, you were I went when I was thirty. How long did you stay in there? Just three years. Oh, okay. Yeah. And they said, man, that shit was lit. <laughs> it was, player. The what? basketball tournaments we had, just the riots we were in. It wasn't dangerous. Yeah, but it was just like fucking fun, dog. Oh, because it was just like. It was just like, hey, dog, imagine being with like with all your homies, dog, and another race kicks it off. You're just like. <laughs> 
and said, you bitch will never fuck with us. It was cracking. <laughs> Uh, oh hey, no! Hey, I, go ahead. You get maced hard though. They mace you with like a mace that's like a fucking fire extinguisher. Yeah, that's just like like a nos tank, and that shit burns, player. Damn dog! Nah, my little brother in prison right now. Oh, okay, I don't, does he have the same dad as you? We all know. <laughs> <laughs> we don't hold no. <laughs> I got I got pictures I got I got drawings of of what me and him got in common too. <laughs> like Damn. Nah nigga, I don't know. Okay. But that nigga uh yeah, but he just went to prison though. But he 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 was he like a career he like career criminal and shit. Do you guys look alike? A little bit, yeah. Okay. A little bit. I'm like the biggest one out of like everybody though. How many think. brothers do you have? Sisters. Two brothers and one sister. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm the second oldest. My I got a big brother, a little sister. Is she in high school? Joel, I mean, no, no, she, uh, that's my sister. She and, um, no, she a mom now. She like a brand new that's mom. She's like 33. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, shit, nigga. I remember, so my little brother, I remember this nigga got out of prison and I wanted to like help him like get back together. You know what I'm saying? So I got him a job at like Fat's house and shit. But I didn't know that you can't, I didn't know you can't immediately get a, a prisoner like a job and throw him like right into the fucking work. Hell no. <laughs> I didn't know that. I thought I was doing a good thing. Huh. You're like, you work in the kitchen, right? <laughs> That nigga was having flashbacks and shit. Like For every real? Mexican he saw, he thought it was a he was a it's an essay back there. Yeah, like all that shit. I was like, no nah, man, that's your boss. And then <laughs> like, like, he's like, he's like, yeah, nah, hey homie, it's a uh, why it, you can't throw him back up in there? They got any time to? Or, I ain't gonna lie, dog. When I first got out of prison, uh, my homeboy Fly was like kind of kicking. I was just like, hey homie, let me chill for the a comic? second. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, because like when I was in prison, there was a riot and the I got jumped by the black guys first. Yeah, and like. I just remember you, you, you remember that shit. They knocked one of my tooth out. Oh, they fucked me up. And like your brother probably was in a riot and caught the blues. And he's just like, Hey homie, hold up. Like, I can't, you're, you're, you're trained to be like, wait up. I need arm distance from everybody. Cause when I first got out of prison dog, like, yeah, I, it was fucking tough. See what I was seeing was this. So 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 that's so that's so that's that perspective. So what I was seeing was like he said, "Oh man, because well, you know, he was saying the same thing. Like, oh man, I just need to chill and just relax." Yeah. But then I'm like, "You tell me that. I just see a nigga on my couch just <laughs> eating up all my raviolis, all my noodles and shit like that." Nah, that's all I saw. Hey, but he cleaned hard, huh? No, nigga, he didn't. <laughs> he didn't do none of that shit. He was ruining my life. <laughs> like, it felt like I was living with a prisoner. Like. Oh, he was shit. taking over the TV. Oh yeah, all kind of shit, man. Wearing my shoes, like <laughs> that's fucking. Funny. But that was my that's my little nigga though, man. I love straight you up. Though, you man. have to, dog. That's hey, my nigga. you know what was sad for me for prison is um, before you go to prison, you're in the county and you catch the chain. That's when you go upstate. They put you in the chain. They put you in the chain. Oh, link by link. Yeah, like, yeah. And they call it the chain. And uh, I used to coach uh, football high school. What? And, and uh, my running back, some little black kid I coached named Ota, yeah, was in. He, he was going to prison too, and he just looked at me and he was just like, "His coach and him going to going to the and same." And he was spot? just like, "Don't trip, coach. I know the I know the code." And I was just like, "Thanks, homie." <laughs> like, hey, dog, it was fucking a trip. Damn. And with that, we'll be right back if Jamar doesn't stab me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 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 we are back again. Jamar Neighbors in the building, dog. What up? What up? You having a good time? Yeah, man. I uh, I just wanted to say uh, I am not allowed to promote this fool on Hulu. So I can't say watch it July 28th. Yeah. I can't say that. How about I say it because I'm not part of it. Nah, I ain't, <laughs> I ain't trying to get in trouble. Man. I already got in trouble for crossing one borderline. I can't cross <laughs> this one. We back on? Yeah, we back oh, on. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, you said mixed nuts. The oh, yeah, club? yeah, yeah. Uh, no, because uh, like I, I tell people, I'm like, hey, homie, like, you guys ever play mixed nuts? And that's when I know the range of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Let me... Wasn't it like in a shopping mall or something? Like, yeah, yeah, it was next to a swap meet. Yeah, yeah. So, so peep this. This is how long I've been around, but like a little bit, nigga. When I went there, when I went there though, I was sixteen, and I asked my auntie. I wanted to see if I wanted to really do stand up because it was always on my mind. I'm like, man, maybe I should. You wanted to be an actor, right? No, it's, 
Both. Like okay. both or whatever. But I but like I like Jamie Foxx. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I want to be Jamor. No, no, no. But I was <laughs> Nah, so I said, but I did want to do stand-up first. Everybody was like, man, you should be a comic. You should be a comic. So I was like, all right, man. I said, let me see if, I'm, let me see if I can do it. So remember that uh, remember that BT competition? Uh, Hell yeah, I remember that what's, shit. What's that shit called? With that Coming to the kid. stage? Yeah, with little that little JJ? kid, JJ. Bro, I went out for, I went to audition for the second season. No way. Oh, God. And I heard it on the radio. And my best, my, my, my girl best friend was like, Jamar, you should go to this. It's, it's tomorrow. And I was just like, all right, I'll pull up. Whatever, so I asked my auntie, can I cut school and shit just to go up there? 16 years old, nigga, and I took the Western bus down to Washington, and I went to Mix Nuts. It was a long-ass motherfucking line and shit. And niggas out there just, I saw Barry Brewer there. Remember Barry Brewer? No. You know Barry Brewer? No. Oh, okay. Uh, Barry Brewer was there and all that shit, and I was just- Was wa- everybody under 18? No, I was the youngest one there. Oh, okay. And I- um. And um and I had to wait, nigga. I remember I had to sit through like twenty fucking comics, bro. And I was the last comic up, and it was like Jamal, Jamal Nibbles, Jamal, <laughs> Jamal neighbors, whatever the fuck. And I was like, oh yeah. And I went up there, and I was just like, yeah. I was talking about crackheads or shit. And then I started jumping. And I started jumping rope with like the microphone stand and shit. <laughs> Or whatever. I was like, what I say? I said, I said, if you ever see a nigga in the middle of the street doing this, and then I started jumping rope and shit like that, and I was like, he a crackhead. Like, like, I was like, I was doing a bunch of shit like that, and I was like, damn man, I feel like I did good, or whatever, right? And he was like, man, you, first of all, you cuss too much. It was like, second of all, it was like, how old are you? Like, but no, I didn't get that shit. But that was the first time I ever did like stand up in front, and I was like, I think I'm gonna do this shit with my life. Yeah, you know, it's was, a trip, dog. Yeah. Yeah, uh, my mixed nuts experience was, uh, I think it was a Latino night they had there. Yeah. And uh, Steve Harvey used to run that motherfucker. No? Yeah, yeah. And Felipe Sparza was there. I remember seeing him go up. That fool was wearing an old ass Ross Tony Gwynn shirt jersey. Remember yeah. they had jerseys, but there were shirts. Yeah. And he killed. And I went up there. I did all right. And he talked to me. He's like, what's up, fool? No, you were doing comedy for. I was like, yeah, eight months. Eh? He was like, whoa, shit. Okay. Yeah. I'll see you around, homeboy. But like, it was a trip because like it was considered a black room. Yep. And I went up there on other nights, dog, and it was like, yeah, it was. I remember, remember Marquez the Great. Mm-mm. Oh yeah, there was a guy named Marquez the Great. Uh. Toby Hicks. I remember Toby Hicks. Toby Hicks used to be there. Uh, Eric Blake. Eric Blake. That's a funny motherfucker. Dude. Yeah. He's from Compton. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, yeah, dog. Steve Fly, Yorsi Thomas. Oh, it was fucking fun, dog. What was the first uh, Mexican room you did? Or did you do any? Mexican room. Honestly, nigga, I didn't do a lot of them. So, honestly, the first ones I ever did was... Uh, Yours. Oh wow. Yep. Like when I like when you say like a Mexican room or whatever, I was like, man, you going here with all Mexicans. I remember John Shevsky, John Tomaszewski. I wrote up. Yeah. Remember him? Whatever. A Jewish kid. Whatever. Yeah. But that was your your room was the first Mexican room I did. Oh wow. Roscoe's over Roscoe. there in Orange County, and they had no chicken and waffles. And I and they I had saw on God. On God, and I thought that I thought that that's what it was. I was like, oh nigga. I was like, I was like, I, I was ready to eat. I was like. You went up there, nigga. You was like, you was, <coughs> you was cooking. But I feel like you was just, I feel like you was just, you was spitting it. You could, I could tell her like, oh, this is his room. Like, oh yeah. I was like, this his shit. Like, I missed I that know. place, dog. You're talking about eating pussy and then burping off of it and all, like all kind of shit or whatever. <laughs> like, yeah. But I was like, oh, there, this is this nigga's room for sure. Whatever. You ever find old notebooks, nigga? I found a couple. I found a couple the other day and shit. And, and then you realize you weren't good enough for that premise you were trying to do? Yeah. That's what I'm doing lately. It's like, oh, my God. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh, my God. But do you ever read? Okay, okay. So you're basically saying, like, you go back, you read that shit or whatever, and you do it, and it still make you laugh? Like, yo, nigga, that shit is still kind of yeah, funny, bro. Yeah, it is, like, but you can do it better. <laughs> yeah, like... Oh, what I was trying to say was... Do you think fools that do porn do that shit go back? You're like, damn, I should have went deep right now. <laughs> yeah, like... I could tell the way my leg is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bro, I just now I just now realized that people wear... Like, that men wear Timberlands in, in porn for, for the footing. Yeah, yeah, dog. 
You ever fuck with Timberlands on? Oh, hell yeah. We used to get them at Ross for 39 bucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Already, I remember, already dog, the Caterpillars. I, I remember, dog, like, I was, like, one of the first Cholos in Orange County. I would wear Timberlands with, like, like size 44, 5, 501 boots with a white T-shirt. Yeah. I just, I just, I don't know. I just like that whole, like, homie, I will kick the shit out of you with these, dog. You got a little New York in you, George. Mm. I, <laughs> this is why I, I'm here. To I grew it, up like on music. Yeah, I mean, I grew up on music yeah. and like culture influence. Did you ever grind out of New York? Any? Yeah, I've done. I did. Uh, I did a little bit, but like you know, New York didn't show me love that I thought it would, and it made me realize that you ain't come out here. Fuck you. When New York goes to Hollywood, they don't get immediate love. You got to prove nope. yourself. Nope. So I went and, and uh, I killed. I did good in my three little spots that I did, and fucking. I'm now, you know, they give you an email number. I'm going to hit him up. And I'm never that kind of guy that's like, yo, dog, call for me. Yeah, yeah, and fools yeah. Were, even Joey Diaz was like, why didn't you fucking tell me? You're doing Sony Hall. Yeah. And then just tell me, I'll get you up in these motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like, nah, I want to do it on my own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. I used to be a lot, I used to be a lot like that too. Now you're like, like, hey, call for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, and I'm still kind of like that too. I'm like, I'm like, be like, man, nigga, you should just know. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, like, it's like, hold on, I know everybody here. Like, it's me. Like, yeah, you know, like and they're like, you're gonna go up, and you're like, this guy don't know me, uh, bro. I put up to the, uh, I put up to the mothership, but like the very first time I ever pulled up, and I, I went up, I had my mohawk on, like all kind of shit, whatever, like really jamarred out. And I pulled up, and they were like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, they got the high-end security there and shit. Yeah. I said, like, whoa, whoa, where are you going? And I was like, I'm going in here. They was like, who are you? And I said, Nick, I'm a famous comic. And they were like, what's your name? And I was like, oh, I guess I'm not a famous comic or whatever. <laughs> I was like, them niggas with that shit, like, I don't know. That shit hurt my soul a little bit. I was nah, like, <laughs> I'm lucky. When I went to the com- mothership, yeah. uh, Carrie was outside. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so yeah. she was, I was like, thank hey, you. Yeah. They have but, the, hey, that's one of the, the best new clubs out right now. That shit hard, though. I love the motherfucking mothership. Yeah. Have you done any other new club? I did Red Bands. It was cool. Red, Red Band Bands. is a good... Red Bands club has a good hang vibe. It's fire. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And I was there in the beginning, beginning. It's probably getting better, 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 better. Yep, yep, yep. What do you think of the Austin comedy scene? There's a lot of mics out there, man. I love that shit. I like that. I like. I like every spot that I get to do out there. They're I all different you. vibes. They're all different vibes. The weather gotta the, go though. Oh God! You ever do the Creek in the Cave? Yeah, that shit's fire. I dog. love the Creek in the Cave too. Yeah, yeah. I think the Mothership is the best one though. Like, like the crowds. Like you cannot fail. Like in those crowds and shit. You can't fail. You know, if you're just doing good. But it, like uh, the Creek in the Cave is like niggas you cannot miss, and it be your fans there too. Like, like people who again, like you said earlier, like people who seen you it was like, oh shit, it's George Perez. Yeah, like yeah, like what is he doing here and all that shit. So it's always that every night. Yeah, because they all follow that like circuit of comedy that's going on out there. Yep, they're informed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the kill Tony shit or whatever. Like, yeah, that's just fun. I, I love Tony, dog. Yeah, Tony, Tony, like Tony, 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 motherfucker respect. Again. Yep, motherfucker respect with Tony Hinchcliff. I met him uh, when I got out of prison. I was fresh out of prison, dog. We did a, we did. Me and Tony did a Yo Mama battle tournament against each other. Oh, for real? Yeah, and we uh, when it was uh, like um, twelve years ago. And every dog the MTV shit for some reason like they didn't distribute it or put it out because he's a good roaster. I mean, he's oh, a good yeah. bag too. He's a good bagger too. Yeah. Hey, dog. We it, it was it was like N N A or N C A like uh, March Madness. It was, uh, y'all, there was uh, 36 baggers. Yeah. One day, me and Tony end up in the last round together, dog. Whoa. Yeah. So, Tony was out there cooking. Y'all was out there cooking. Oh, no. We battled. You can ask him for at least an hour and a half. Just back and forth? Back and forth, (laughs) And this motherfucker, I'll never forget with what he hit me with, dog. Because there was all kinds of Mexican there. And I was like, I'm going to beat this white boy. Because when you first see Tony, you're like, oh, hell no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks like a little, he looks like a little, like, if he would, he looks like the the kids the Greek senators would fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you say that to him on that show? No. Oh. <laughs> and uh, yeah, dog. Yeah, now nah, you think that? Check us out, dog. Tell me we're not locked in. Oh yeah, still the same. He was a door guy back then. Well, uh, he still stand the same way. He still look the same way. Uh. Yeah, but he's quick. He's quick. Oh, dog. You I mean, see, both of y'all bad. Like, you who see that won sweater that? I'm wearing? Last joke, dog. He's like, I know Mexicans drink horchata. I don't know they wore it. 
all my homies was like, yo, yo, just stop. He got you. He got, hey, stop. Wow. Yeah. I mean, that nigga called me uh, Floyd No Money Mayweather. <laughs> one day I said. <laughs> <laughs> but one time my homeboy Side Dick Eddie was wearing all Jordan. What? What's his name? Side Dick Eddie. What's that mean? That means like, yo, I f- if you got a man, bitch, I'm here. Like, oh, I'm oh, 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 fat bitch. This is Side Dick right here. <laughs> okay. And uh, he was, he's like, he's like a 300 pounder. Yeah. And he's wearing all Jordan. He goes, wow, look at, I can't jump, man. <laughs> oh my god so yo dog uh we barely scratch the surface man nah this is just fun it just feel like a hang you just talking you hell shit. yeah sorry i didn't have too many stories but... nah it was great yeah, now, you had yeah. all kinds of stories yeah yeah because sometimes it might just feel like a ramble and i'm like i don't know i'm just talking so you're taking off to austin right yeah i'm gonna go out there for a little bit and um I'm going to go out there for a little bit. I say about like three months, whatever. That's the plan. Mm -hmm. And uh, just do a bunch of art. I'm going to do a bunch of art and shit. And And comedy. And comedy for sure. And it's a very arty town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm going to go out there work at my little art agency. and um, But I'm going to do a lot of comedy and still develop the special for like whatever the fuck. So, yeah. You just did a special. Dude. Yep. Shout it out. Oh, yeah. So, I got a special uh, on YouTube called Rotten Luther King Jr. That shit is funny. Thank you, man. It won the um, it won best underground film at Cannes and shit. It was directed by Andrew Demolis, so that's cool. And um, yeah. Hey, can I tell you the funniest Martin Luther King joke I heard by a white boy in prison? Well, uh, what <laughs> I didn't say? say it. What did he say? This motherfucker said he said, "You know why black people only have nightmares?" Oh. It's like the last one that had a dream got shot. Ah, uh, that shit is cold. That's fire. Funny, that's funny. fire. That'll, oh. that'll fuck somebody up. <laughs> dog. That'll fuck somebody up. <laughs> like, dog. I was just like, <laughs> y'all motherfuckers really like. There's some you, funny motherfuckers in prison. Huh? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> uh, promote everything you want to promote out there, dog. Your Instagram, your Twitter. At Jamar underscore neighbors. That's my Instagram. Jamar Malachi, M A L A C H I. That's my Twitter. And, um,. I'm on a show on Hulu. I can't say the name, but I sell cupcakes on it. And uh, <laughs> check it out. Yeah, man. And I got a stand-up comedy special, Rotten Luther King Jr. And uh, hey, I sell a gang of art and shit. Yes, you get, hey, uh, you want to show any of them or? No, no, that's not my best work. But okay, <laughs> go on, <laughs> go on, uh, <laughs> uh, go on, uh, yeah, go on Instagram and see all my shit, man. No, you got some up. fire shit, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. remember, remember, hey, dog, remember we were at Skank Fest and I wanted to leave and you convinced me to stay. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. It dog. was fun though, right? Like you, hey, I want to say thank you, dog, because yeah. like staying, dog, I did so much coke that I went to the airport. I thought I was supposed to go home. Yeah, and they were like, dog, your flight's not till Monday. <laughs> I was like, and I didn't even check out the room. Yeah, and I remember you was like, I was, I'm just gonna stay in my room. You're like, nah, nah, homie, get out. I said, there. nah, nigga, hang out. I was like, why? Yeah, yeah. It was, thank you, dog. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Well, hey, my boy, I want to say thank you so much for coming through. Hey, everybody, uh, don't forget, go to Gunthers.com, use promo code Take a Shower, and you will not get a discount. Also, August 19th, I'm going to be at the Ice House Pasadena, September 1st and 2nd. I'll be at the Volcom with Willie Barcena. Get your tickets now. Shit's been oh. selling out. And, uh, yo, that's it. Thanks for coming on. Oh. I like one more thing. Yeah, whatever. Yo, man, I'm at the Creek in the Cave in Austin, Texas, uh, August 30th and 31st. Uh, so if you're in Austin, Texas, August 31st, 30th and 31st, come out to see me headline Creek in the Cave, and um, I'll be in Austin for a while. So That's what's yeah. up. Come out. Yo, buy some art, bring some weed, yeah. and uh, he's looking to train somewhere. Yeah. Yo, this is George Perez Stories, episode 230. 324. With that being said, take a shower. Black power. Take a shower. Black power. Mm. George Perez. Story.